I'm up on the Turtle Lake Road. Just cut off the, uh, what they call the ropeway, the tramway, cable car, gondola, telefreak. What do they call these things? It's, there's so many different names. The car that drags you by a wire up into the, uh, side of the mountains. I'm looking out over the city, and I can actually see the snow-capped peaks of the greater Caucasus today, including Mount Kazbegi, over all of it, and it is quite a sight. There's a bit of a wisp of cloud in the air, but there's also blue, and uh, it's quite a day. I took the uh, ropeway up here to basically walk down the hill. It's a quick exercise. I go from uh, the city streets, Chavchavadze Avenue, two blocks from my home, all the way down to my home. I think it takes probably about 45 minutes to an hour. But what I'm doing is kind of going over the year for myself, as well as making a little bit of audio uh, for my channel. I'll probably take some of this and use it on the channel. This French girl, uh, probably about 13 years old, just drove by me. I heard her on the phone talking probably to her mother. We had to wait about... 20 minutes to get on the uh, on the ropeway. for the pathway to go down here. I am on the road. This could be it here. There's a turn off. This might be it. I'll see it in a second. Yeah, I think so. It's got looks like a trail. It's a it's a break in the uh, steel. It was a bicycle ramp. It looked like it was good for if you're coming fast enough for jumping. There was a man who came up to it, stopped, and then kind of decided to go around. He was older. I, I get it. I would have gone over slowly, personally. I 
right now I'm walking on the mountain bike trail, so I'm watching out for that French girl who might be behind me, because this other guy, I don't know where it started, but I got off the, the paved road as soon as I could. This feels like a brand new trail, practically. This is nice. Much gladder I'm going down it than going up it. But in the future, I'll go down the other bicycle trail and see that, which way that goes. Like I say, I'm, I'm realizing I can just take the ropeway up to the Turtle Lake. Uh, you know, I, I haven't availed myself that often of uh, this. But I really like living here. That's the main thing. You know, I have made more friends, and and they've gotten my friendships have gotten stronger. That isn't to say I always understand how Georgians conduct their friendships, but I'm glad it's pretty deep. Once you actually get connected to someone, you pretty much stay friends with them, and that has made living here very important for me. And uh, I have no regrets about living here. The only thing I have any subtle regrets about is that my library isn't here. Uh, yeah, no, what it is is this is the rest of your life. Standing right here. You don't get to move. There's nothing else. Okay. Let's get this moving. There goes the uh, ropeway just over me. I'm going a different way. Found a downhill path. Let's see what this goes. Looks like I'm going straight into a lot of thorns. Now we have to figure it out. Alright, I admit defeat. The thorns were way too thick. I did see a road, but the trail just turned into nothing. I admit it, I was lost. Okay, I found the main trail again. It's definitely a bike trail, although I just heard past a motorcyclist coming up one of these. And this is what I was looking for, but evidently the other one wasn't it. Well, I'm certainly getting my exercise in today. So, I am near the back end of the victory statue, which is a good sign. So what has it been like to be in Georgia for five years? And I've, since I've already said this, uh, recently what it was like to be here for four years, I'm not going to keep saying it. I guess I didn't have the patience to wait for the fifth year, but I wanted to do something. Uh, I'm not going to go over all those things, the changes in my mentality and such, but I would say that I've come to realize that Georgia is the place that I belong. I've made excellent friends here, the kind of people who I feel do care for me, even if they're not always present because Georgians get so busy. I, I feel they, they care for me in many different ways, and uh, I can have excellent conversations I can uh, take part in cultural events, which would be too expensive in, say, New York City, where I used to live, and uh, non-existent in smaller towns. A, a town this size, a million, we'll say a million and a half, just for whatever reason, uh, it's hard to know for sure, uh, that size town in America would not have nearly the cultural uh, institutions and art artists that a town like this has. And while I didn't do a lot this year, I have last year I went out twice into the world, once to Prague, once to Berlin and Germany. Uh, before that, I hadn't gone anywhere for three years, but now my fifth year is over and I think that uh, I made the right choice. The only huge thing really hanging over my head is whether I can get my uh, library from uh, Alaska and get it all the way here, which I'm in the middle of doing. I've raised over $7,000 of my $12,000 goal. 
but I can't do anything until I get the whole amount. So, if you're listening to this and it's uh, not March of 2024 yet, you can still contribute. There are links below to uh, GoFundMe, which will work anywhere, and uh, PayPal if you have a PayPal account. And um, yeah, but I am grateful. I'm also grateful, even though I didn't make as many videos this year as I should have. I promise there will be more, and I appreciate everything. From Georgia, this is Burn saying, draw a beat. Temporarily. We'll meet you later. Nahuandis. Zadak argulit audivar. Ay, da khedet chem sis khlian pekhsa. Es, tsklis dasalevadrom chavet, ikhebshi mashin vidki.